Hey folks, Dr. Joe here. Glad we could spend a little time together. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful day. And what we're going to talk about today is, is, is again, I always base my, my shows on what my patients ask me and what you, my listeners, send me emails about. And so I want to talk about home remedies. I want to talk about things that you can do at home that hopefully are going to save you a whole lot of time, a whole lot of money, and hopefully get you healthier faster. And these are a couple of things that I see pretty much every day in my practices, so that's what we're going to talk about. I want to start out with colds and flu. Uh, a lot of folks have cold and flu and allergies, uh, big issues, and what do we do about it? And one of the things I want you to consider is getting your body healthy so that you don't get sick. And that's I know that's a unique twist there. But if your body is healthy, you're less likely to get sick. Last season with the, with the flu season, everybody was dropping like flies. My doctors, my staff, my, my friends, my coworkers, never had a problem. Now, am I immune to these things? Absolutely not. When I was a when I was a kid, I had a we very weak immune system, and I was sick all the time, and that's one of the reasons I got so uh, passionate about getting well because I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. So if you have a cold, the immune system obviously is being overwhelmed, and viruses get into the body, and the viruses start to replicate, they get into your cells, and they start taking killing the cells, taking over the cells, and the immune system has to kick in to literally save your life. So a couple of things we might want to consider if we do uh, want to avoid allergies, cold and flu. Uh, number one, the number one food allergen, the one that causes the most mucus is dairy products. So I want you to stay away from dairy products forever. Now, if you've heard my shows in the past, you know that I talk about dairy a lot. Not a big fan in any way, shape or form. It's been 32 years since I've had any dairy products. I'm fine. You can be fine too. And the cool part about dairy is that there are, uh, whatever there is in a dairy world, there's a substitute for it. There's butter, there's cheese, there's yogurt, there's ice cream. Uh, there's the eggs are not dairy, of course, but there's eggs. So there's substitutes for everything. So you don't have to worry about missing anything. And in fact, many times uh, people see like what I'm eating, for example, and they'll go, well, that looks a lot better than mine. I gave a lecture the other day at a big expo, and I was the guest speaker, and uh, some TV station was there, and a gal came up, and she wanted to interview me, and so she interviewed me. And, uh, and she said that, too. She goes, you know, I'm starting to eat better. She goes, I can't get my husband to eat better, though. And what he always does is he ends up stealing my food if we go out to dinner because his, mine looks better than his, and mine tastes better than his. So it really is not hard to keep the immune system strong. You just have to not weaken it. Does that make sense? There's a couple of things also I want you to make sure you have enough vitamin D in your body. Most of us are vitamin D deficient. And I see it all day, every day. Patients come in with their blood work and you're low in vitamin D. So one of two things happens. One is the doctors will say, we'll go take a supplement. But many times the doctors will prescribe vitamin D, like 50,000 international units, once a week. A couple of problems with that. Number one, the prescription is vitamin D2. Your body needs vitamin D3. So your body has to convert vitamin D2 into vitamin D3. Well, why not just take vitamin D3? It's pretty simple. Uh, it's a prescription, so it costs money. It's more expensive. You can get supplements of vitamin D3 really inexpensive. Uh, vitamin D is a very, very inexpensive supplement. And you're taking 50,000 units at a time. The problem is the body can't absorb 50,000 units at a time. I'd rather see you take a little bit every day so you can absorb it. You only have so many receptor sites to absorb anything. So you got to be careful what you're absorbing there, what, you, what you're putting in there, what you can absorb. So vitamin D3, much better than vitamin D2. Uh, and I take it every day. And I take vitamin D every day. Now, as summer comes around and I'm outside, and if I know I'm going to get about 20 minutes of sun, at least on my face, my neck, my arms, if I have shorts on my legs, I don't take vitamin D that day. If I don't, then what I'll do is I'll take vitamin D. And, and what I did years ago is I started creating supplements for the most uh, demanded product, the most demanded pr problems that people have. And vitamin D was one of them. So I have something called vitamin D3 with K2. Vitamin K2 is vital for healthy bones. And most people don't get vitamin K2 because you get it from things like fermented soybeans or fermented cabbage like kimchi or sauerkraut that is, it hasn't been uh, processed and pasteurized, raw forms. So we have a vitamin D2, D3 with vitamin K2. And it's on my website, drjoesposito.com. It's a liquid form. It's fine. I take it every day. Now, we make it from lanolin. Now, you can make it from other sources. You can get it from algae, but it's very expensive that way. The lanolin is not as expensive. So it is from sheep wool, but no animals are killed for it. So that's on the website, drjoesposito.com. 
you probably want to consider getting those vitamin D levels up. I think you'll be very happy when they are. And that's one of the secrets that I use, that I don't have allergy problems and I don't have uh, cold and flu issues. Now, that being said, the number one food allergy we said is dairy. Number, f- number two food allergen is wheat. Now, I know this is hard for you to consider a life without dairy products and wheat. Try it. You will be blown away. Folks, if you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, and you're wondering where I'm coming up with all this. My background is I'm board certified in chiropractic. I'm board certified in orthopedics. I'm board certified in pain management, double board certified in nutrition, BS in nutrition, a retired dietitian, award-winning author. This show that you're listening to is heard coast to coast and around the world. As far as I know, it's the largest health and wellness radio broadcast in the world. So we'd love to have you, um, you know, tune in more often. And if you like it, you can go to our podcast, drjoesposito.com. They're also on iTunes and Google Play and Stitcher now. So you can catch the, the podcast there as well. And uh, soon, I just told Ahmad, my producer, uh, we're going to put cameras here in the studio. And they're going to stream it live on wsbradio.com. So that means I can't look like a slob. And Ahmad, we're going to put you on camera too, just so you know. In fact, I may put you on camera instead of me. How about that? You're much better looking than me. I'll put Ahmad on camera. What do you think, Ahmad? Can we do it? Um, yeah, we could we right, try we'll, that. We'll put you here, and you just move your lips, and I'll do the show. How about that? Fair enough? I'll, I'll, I'll be the, the puppet. You'll be the puppet. There you go. <laughs> so anyway, that's going to come, too, if you ever want to, if you like seeing, if you're visual. Some people are visual learners, so I like this idea that you'll be able to watch the uh, show, and it's it's, uh, it's, it's kind of cool, but it's not that, that exciting. It's just me giving you information. So uh, colds and flu, uh, we also have something called Dr. Joe's seasonal tonic. If I, if I ever do get a cold and flu, which very, very seldom happens, uh, it's, it's a herbal combination of ginger, horseradish, cayenne pepper, onion, and garlic. And we puree that in an apple cider vinegar. It tastes the way it sounds. And I take that if I have even a s- slightest uh, beginning of a sniffle, I start to, uh, I, I, t- I take that and it really helps wipe out the infections, which is kind of cool. And then we have something called Dr. Joe's Wellness Booster, which are herbs to help stimulate the immune system. And in the winter, I take that every day, it stimulates the immune system. Folks, I got to go to a break. We have got one, one thing covered here. We got so much more to cover. If you have a healthcare question, I'm going to open up the lines. The number is 844 44 Dr. Joe, 844 44 DRJOE. Uh, so give us a call if you have a healthcare question. Uh, you can uh, send me questions through the website as well, drjoesposito.com. All my supplements, my books, all on my website as well, drjoesposito.com. Also available on Amazon if you have an Amazon account. Hey, 844-44-Dr. Joe, call us with your questions. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. We're talking today about home remedies, things that you can do to help get well and stay well. And we got a couple of callers here. If you have a question, 844-44-Dr. Joe is the number here at the studio. Rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. So if you want to make an appointment or if you have questions, you could always do that. Uh, Constipation. This is something that is a big problem in our society, not something people talk about, not first date conversation, but it's something that we really need to discuss because your body is designed to take food in, absorb the nutrients, pass out the waste products. And if we're not passing out the waste products, I mean absolute minimum once a day. Twice a day is great. So your bowels should be moving, and they're not. And the reason is because most most folks don't eat enough fiber. What happens with fiber is fiber gets into the colon and it causes the colon to expand. And as the colon expands, it fires off these things called stretch receptors. Stretch receptors are nerves that they get stretched to a certain point and then they cause the muscle to contract. And that's what causes the bowels to move. It pushes everything along. But if our stretch receptors are not firing off because they're not being stretched enough, because you're eating things like animal products that don't have any fiber in them or sugar, basically the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, it's going to be a problem. So a couple of things I want you to consider if you ain't working like you're supposed to. Number one is a valve. It's right right between your belly button and your right hip. It's on the right side, and it's called the ileocecal valve, the ICV, the ileocecal valve. And that valve opens and allows food to pass from the small intestine to the large intestine, and then it closes. And then the, the food that it's called chyme, it's a mixture of a lot of fluids from your small intestine, goes into your large intestine, and water is absorbed. It's packed and passed out. Well, if the valve is not opening properly, food can get backed up. If the valve is open, sometimes it's stuck open and doesn't close properly, then we have diarrhea. So many times if we have chronic constipation or diarrhea, it's a physical problem, not just a chemical problem, just like most health care. Many times it's a physical, not a chemical problem, and we keep trying to treat it chemically. 
So in our offices, my doctors, I train them to work the massage the ileocecal valve. We can test it. We muscle test it, and then we can work it to try to get it to either open or close. Uh, you may have a pinched nerve. The nerves in the low back control the colon, sex organs, and bladder. So if you have back pain, if you're injured your low back, you might see things like gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, urinary, sexual problems. The nerve in the low back controls everything. Kind of important. This is why so many patients, when they come into our offices, come in maybe from a car accident or sports injuries or you know, slip and fall or you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, and then they see their health turn around. And I explained to them, my doctors do, the nerves control the organs. So when you have a pinched nerve going to an organ, that organ isn't working properly. And when you open up the nerve supply, we adjust the spine. Not only does it usually help tremendously with pain, but it gets the organs working, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have something called Dr. Joe's Intestinal Cleanser. It's a product that's on my website, drjoesposito.com. And it's wonderful for gently getting the bowels to work normally again. It's not going to cause a lot of uh, severity, let's say, as some medications will. Very gentle. Uh, what, patients love it. It's, it's just crazy how, how well patients do with it because it's very gentle. And also, the other problem is you're not drinking enough water. Most people don't drink water. Coffee doesn't count as water. Scotch and water does not count as water. Water is water. And so you need to make sure that you, you put the right water, uh, enough water, in your body. So how much water? Eh, six to eight glasses a day is probably a good idea. You might want to consider that. Um, so you got to make sure the body is working properly from a physical standpoint. And where do we get fiber from? Plant-based. you got to get a plant-based diet. More fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Hey, that sounds familiar. Sounds like something Dr. Joe would say. All right, let's go to callers. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. Larry, how can we make your day better today? Yes, Dr. Joe. I'm just trying to find a home memory for my alligator skin. Sure. Whenever I see a skin condition, I always think liver. And it usually is a liver issue. And so what we need to do then is find out why our liver is malfunctioning. And it could be several things. Uh, number one is we're not, we have digestive problems. Acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation. So the food is not being broken down properly. It gets absorbed into the blood system. And then the liver has to try to filter it out. And the liver can get clogged up. And you get something called non-alcoholic fatty liver. And many times when I see skin issues like eczema, it's a liver problem. So we got to check the digestive system. Number two, you got to give up wheat and you got to give up dairy products. And when patients do that, usually they're just thrilled because the eczema starts to respond in a very timely manner, like a week or two. So that would be the next step. Um, the third thing is you have something called Dr. Joe's digestive enzymes. You might want to consider that as well to help digest your system, to help your digestive system work more efficiently. And then number four, you can take something called extra virgin coconut oil and just rub it on the skin several times a day. It absorbs very quickly, and that'll help give you the nutrients from the inside, from the outside in, and then we fix the body from the inside out. And I've never had an eczema patient not respond to that. Any other questions, okay. Len? Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Len. I appreciate the call. Folks, if you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-J-O-E. Talking today about home remedies. Things that you can do to help keep yourself healthy. This way you don't have to rely on folks like me to get you well. And as a chiropractor, you can't adjust your own spine. You may be able to crack your own neck or crack your own back. That's not doing it right. And many times that causes damage. Every day, patients come in. Ah, doc, I've been cracking my neck for years, and now it just it's stuck. Well, yeah, that's because you've tore up so many ligaments that it doesn't move anymore. So if you're cracking your own back, folks, don't do that. It's not smart. It will lead to problems. It always does. You can never fix it doing that, doing that. so stop it because I'm tired of fixing your boo-boos. All right, well, persistent cough. This is something I see on a pretty regular basis. And if you have a persistent cough, many times it's due to acid reflux. You have heartburn. The stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm, and acid is coming up into the esophagus, and that irritates the throat. So persistent cough is almost, in fact, I've never seen it not, uh, acid reflux or hiatal hernia issue. If it's a short-term cough, uh, you know, pollen, cold and flu, things like that, uh, that's a different story. So a couple of things, you always got to check the stomach no matter what. Honey works very well. Now, if you're going to do honey, people ask me this a lot, you want to make sure it's pure, organic, local honey. Because many times if you get it shipped over from another country, it depends on what country it's coming from, and maybe it goes through another country, they filter out all the pollen. And they use many times high fructose corn syrup, not honey. 
And the reason they filter out all the pollen is if we find pollen in it, we can do a DNA test and find out the country of origin. If we filter out all the pollen, it can be, you know, the, the, kind of go through some shady uh, avenues there, and you don't know where it came from. But many times it's high fructose corn syrup, not honey. So with honey, what you want to do is make sure it's cloudy. It can have particulates in it. That's fine. Little stuff floating around in there. Uh, nothing wrong with that. That's all good stuff. Now, somebody asked me, I gave a big lecture yesterday, and they said, well, Dr. Joe, what about honey as a, as a food? Still very high in sugar, very high in fructose. So use it sparingly. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a health care question, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. Uh, we have offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge, uh, if you want to make an appointment. Uh, the supplements, the books, everything we talk about is always on my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, also available on Amazon uh, if you want to do that there. Uh, folks, we want to be your doctors. We want to help you get well and stay well. My podcasts are on the website as well. We want to help you get well. Hey, tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. Tell your friends. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. I am so glad that you're there because that means we get to hang out together, which is kind of fun. See, I got my, my virtual friends here. I feel like a millennial. I don't have anybody in a room with me. I just got my virtual friends, and you're all my virtual friends. So we're talking today about uh, home remedies, things that you can do to help uh, get yourself well, save a ton of money on doctor bills, and just stay healthy because that's really the goal is to get healthy. And it's, it's kind of cool. We were talking the other day, uh, a bunch of folks, we were talking about the show. And they, sa they said, your audience is pretty much everyone. I said, exactly. It doesn't matter, Republican, Democrat, white, white, black, male, female, fat, skinny, tall, short, old, young. Everybody's got health care concerns. And so I try to address as many as I can on every show because I want to pack these shows with information so that you walk away every show going, wow, I learned something new today. That's really cool. And if you have questions, you can call us here at the studio, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, you can send me questions through the website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Hey, also, sign up for my newsletter. We have a newsletter on my website. It's no charge. We're never going to give out your email address. Don't worry. And we send out lots of good information. Uh, like, for example, this past week I did a lecture, and there was a fee to get in, but I put free tickets on my website. And so I, well, my listeners got to get free tickets, so it was kind of cool. So we want you to be one of those folks, too. So just sign up for the newsletter, and we're not going to bombard you with a bunch of stuff. Don't worry, I promise. Let's go back to the caller. It's 844-44-DR-JOE. Lee, how can we make your day better? Okay, Dr. Joe. I, I love your show. Thank you. And your website. And I just wondered, I want to talk about inflammation. Okay. Now, this is what I've read. I've read that inflammation in your gums, in your mouth, in your teeth. Yes. That that can go into your bloodstream and cause problems throughout your whole body. Yes. Well, any inflammation now, what, anywhere. What I've read that if you, if you will do oil pulling, if you use like coconut oil or yep. sesame seed oil, yep, and then you mix a few drops of clove or uh -huh. oregano or lemon or peppermint, sure, in the in the uh, oil, yes, and then swish it every morning, yep, like you would a, a mouthwash, uh huh, and stop using those over the counter mouthwashes because they just add to yes. the inflammation. Absolutely, yes. But I've read that doing that oil pulling. Yeah. No, it's great. You know, the, Absolutely. What you want to do with the, the oil pulling is take some extra virgin coconut oil, uh, like you just said. And you want to swish it around, not just like a mouthwash. You want to swish it for about five, ten minutes if you can. Now, one of the things with the oil, don't spit it down your sink because coconut oil hardens when it gets cold. And so it can clog up your pipe. So you want to spit it out, you know, spit it into a trash can, spit it outside. Uh, but oil pulling is awesome, and it helps uh, with infections as well. Uh, the other question you always want to ask when you have inflammation is what's causing the inflammation. So the oil pulling is awesome, great, uh, works great if the problem is an infection in the mouth, can help with bad breath. Uh, but you always want to find out why do you have it. Is it a bad diet? Is it a circulatory issue? We have something called Dr. Joe's nitric oxide, uh, which opens up the blood vessels and increases circulation. So that might help, too, if you have chronic inflammation. Um, but I agree. Yeah, what, what you just said, 100% right on. I agree with you. Okay, good. I was wondering about your opinion because I have a friend who had to have some skin grafts on his teeth because he had receding. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. gums, Absolutely. Yep. And he had a lot of problems when he was young. Yep. Nope. And and so now as he's older, it, it's like there's a lot of inflammation yeah. in, in his body. And I agree. And you got to cut out the sugar, too, Lee. That's very important, too. The sugar is big inflammatory. Got to run. Got some more callers. Okay? Thanks so much for calling. I appreciate it. Uh, Phyllis from Atlanta says, thank you for the complimentary tickets for the lecture this week. You're welcome, Phyllis. You are more than welcome. And uh, see, folks, that's why Phyllis 
signed up for the newsletter so she gets free tickets. And I want you to get free tickets. I want you to get good information. And sometimes we have specials on our supplements like Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Every now and then we, we have specials. We want to share them with our listeners. We don't want other folks getting no specials. It's for our family members. Family first. So uh, sign up for the newsletter. If you don't know what Super Greens and Essential Source are, that's the minimum amount of nutrients you should be taking every day. And they're two powders. I have it sitting here at the studio with me right now. I mixed it with some Coke almond milk today, as a matter of fact. Almond milk was on sale. And I just shake it up and drink it. And it's just, I'm, I'm telling you, if you don't do anything else, at least do the Super Greens, the Essential Source. They're all plant-based. It's all vegan, uh, hypoallergenic. They taste great. Uh, loaded with vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, alkalizing the system. They give you uh, iodine, which most of us are deficient in iodine. So really strongly advise that you get on the Super Greens, the Essential Source at least once a day. Now, sometimes if I have a big day, I got a you know big date, or if I'm going hiking, or if I am uh, got a bunch of radio shows lined up, I will take them on a second dose. So you want to make sure that you're getting your, your vitamins and minerals. And even though I eat a really good diet, I still take the Super Greens, the Essential Source every day. I think you should too. And what's cool is, if you have kids, you can take, you know, it's a scoop for an adult. But if you have a kid, as soon as they start eating solid food, you could sprinkle a little. A little of the Essential Source or the Super Greens, a little little green flavoring. You might want to start with the Essential Source and sprinkle a little bit on their food. And you're giving the kids this supercharged uh, levels of nutrients that nobody else is getting at their age. And it really is great for brain function, for maturity, for health, the immune system. I, I can't talk about it enough. I can really talk about two hours for, about Super Greens and the Essential Source, but I really just want you to get on them. Give it a shot. It's on the website, drjoesposito.com, also available uh, on Amazon if you uh, want to do that. So we're talking today about home remedies, and uh, one of the big issues I see a lot is people are tired all the time. How many people are tired? Raise your hands. How many people are too tired to raise your hands? I know. I know. Everybody's so tired. I'm so tired. I don't want to do anything. And, uh, I was talking to my mom the other day, and uh, actually, was it today, yesterday? Anyway, just recently. And she was saying, too, she goes, you know, as you get older, you just don't have the energy that you used to. And one of the secrets is you got to get out and use it or lose it. You got to get out and move the body. You got to make sure the body has enough nutrients in it. And one of the secrets to getting more energy and getting off those stimulants, like coffee, which has things like acrylamide, which are known carcinogens, is to drink more water. Most folks are dehydrated, and especially as we get older, it's a big concern for senior citizens is that they go into dehydration. They don't want to eat. They don't want to drink many times because it's hard for them to get up and go to the bathroom. But if they're drinking, they're going to have more flexibility and more the muscles will be looser so they can get up and go to the bathroom. It's kind of an ironic twist there. So got to drink more water if you're tired. Could be that your adrenal glands are burned out. Adrenal glands burn out all the time. I see it as a regular thing. If you have bags under your eyes, that's a sign of adrenal fatigue. If you're tired all the time, low libido, these can be signs of adrenal fatigue because the adrenal glands produce testosterone, your sex drive hormone. And it's not only your sex drive hormone, it helps build muscles, not just your biceps and your triceps. How about your heart? How about your colon? How about your blood vessels? These are all muscles too. Your eyes have muscles in them. And so if you're fatigued, we're going to talk about eye strain. If we have time, maybe after the break, we'll talk about it. What to do if you have eye strain. But if you're fatigued, Dr. Joe's Adrenal Support, huge, but it's so popular, one of our more popular supplements because everybody's burned out. So Dr. Joe's Adrenal Support, B-Complex, Dr. Joe's B-Complex, most of you are deficient in B vitamins. And if you're a vegan like me, you're probably deficient in B12. So we put B12 in there for you. You got to get that B12 into your body. And make sure you get the water, uh, so, so important. And also you have pinched nerves. You have pinched nerve in your mid-back. That's the nerve supply that goes into the adrenal glands. And that can affect adrenal function as well. So fatigue is usually adrenal related one way or another. But so many times you're just dehydrated. And all you got to do is drink more water, folks. It's really simple. Hey, got to go to break. If you have a healthcare question, 844-44-DR-JOE. That number rings through to my offices when I'm not on the air. If you want to order your super greens and your essential source, which you should, by the way, my books, other supplements, the B12, the adrenal complex, the vitamin D, all on the website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Also available on Amazon. And make sure you sign up for the newsletter so you can be like Phyllis and get cool stuff. Hey, folks, don't go anywhere. Tell your friends about the show. The number here at the studio, if you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DRJOE. We will be right back for DRJ. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're spending a little time with me, my cyber friends, my, my people out there in, uh, in, in the ethers. I'm so glad to spend uh, time with you, and hopefully I can give you a lot of good information uh, so that you can walk away from every show and say, wow, I learned something new today, which is kind of cool. 
We're talking about home remedies today, and uh, I got a bunch listed, but you, the callers, have some questions too. So let's go back to the callers. Douglas, how can we make your life better? Yes, I was calling to find out what is the best home remedy for belly fat to get rid of it. Ah, belly fat can be a, several things. Uh, number one, it's usually a sign of the adrenal insufficiency. But the question then is why are the adrenal glands not working properly? And it's usually because we're eating bad foods. And if you have belly fat, like a beer belly type thing, that's also telling us that you have fat around your organs. And that's very, very dangerous. So as we get older, it's a lot harder to lose weight. Trust me, I'm older. I know. I mean, I have problems just like everybody else. So a couple of things we want to do. Number one is we want to have something raw at every meal. Now, when I say raw, broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, salad, and I want you to eat that first because you okay. could only take so much food in your body, and I want you to get make sure you get the good stuff in and not have to force that in at the end. And as an Italian, we always had our salad at the end of the meal, which never made sense to me because you're already stuffed. So something raw at every meal. Got to cut out the stimulants, coffee, sugar, caffeine of any time, kind, cigarettes, nicotine. These are all stimulants that will burn out the adrenal glands. So you got to cut those out. And you re what's going to happen is we, we all eat too much food. And in this society we live in, we have diseases of excess. We don't have diseases of deficiency. We have diseases, unless there's vitamin deficiency, but that comes from eating excessively bad foods. So you got to eat less food. So what I do is I have Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source first thing in the morning. That's like how I start my day. And maybe I'll have a piece of fruit. Maybe I'll have a little uh, rolled oats with some raisins in there or some cranberries, a little almond milk. That usually holds me over until lunch. Now, if you have to have a snack between then and lunch, maybe have two handfuls of nuts. Lunch, salad, really simple. Big salad, throw in some nutritional yeast in there. Nutritional yeast is great. It has a nice uh, savory flavor to it. Uh, gives you B vitamins, amino acids. And you can throw chickpeas in there if you want to. But again, the less we eat, the better we're going to be. And then you got to make sure you're drinking enough water because most of us don't drink enough water either. And then dinner, eh, if you can skip dinner, you're fine. You're not going to starve. And, and one of the best ways to lose weight is do something called intermittent fasting. And what you do is whenever you have a meal, it takes eight hours to digest that meal. Every hour past that eight hours that you don't eat, your body is burning up the fat. So if you go nine hours between, between a meal, you go 10 hours, 12 hours, ideally, at least once or twice a week, skip dinner altogether. Maybe have a late lunch, 2, 3 o'clock, and then skip dinner altogether, and that's, you're going to see a major improvement in, in your body's ability to lose that belly fat by, not, by skipping dinner and going into intermittent fasting. But the uh, super greens, the essential source, and the adrenal supplements is the things I would suggest for you to kind of get you started from a supplement standpoint, but you just got to cut out eating so much. Okay, sounds great. Thanks, Thank Doug. You. Appreciate the call. So that's it, folks. We do live in a society of excess. And you want to stay away from things that are high in sugar, like how about this, fruit juices. Fruit juices are loaded with sugar, even though it's natural organic orange juice. Still sugar. So you want to stay away. From, if you want to eat fruit, whole fruit has fiber in it, which is going to push it through your colon. We talked about that earlier, getting the digestive system working. But you got to stay away from those fruit juices. And wine and drinks, alcohol, Tea, herbal teas, water, that's pretty much what you can drink. Seltzer, you can take some seltzer, some fresh lime juice, or some lemon juice, and maybe some stevia if you want. But folks, you, you got to cut out the volume of food that you eat. And after a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, you're going to find that you're perfectly fine eating less food. And then you're going to stay, stay thin for the rest of your life. More home remedy questions. Derek, how can we make your day better? I'm trying, excuse me, trying to find out my wife was diagnosed with fibromyalgia yep she's got a uh swelling in her foot that's been around for probably about eight months now wow we've seen lots and lots of doctors and we get same actually we had different results so we're uh, my mother actually told me about your program so I, we hopped on and was hopefully you might be able to give me some information she's got she's currently on Dumbalta and an anti-inflammatory sure and we're not really seeing what well, I would hope to be good results. Absolutely. Yep. All right. A couple of things. Restless leg syndrome, usually it's a pinched nerve in the low back. The nerves in the low back control the legs. It also controls okay. the colon, the sex organs, and the bladder. So we see a lot of restless leg syndrome patients and a lot of fibro patients. That's very, very common in our offices. So okay. number one, you want if she has low back pain, we've got to fix that. We've got to get those bones put back in place. 
And number two with okay. fibro, she's got to cut out the acid foods because acid builds acid up. Acid foods. Acid foods. Okay. Alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. Because the acid foods okay. get cause what's called trigger points to form in the muscles. And when a trigger point forms, the muscle spasms and it wraps around a nerve. And that nerve now is being pinched by a muscle, not by a bone, by a muscle. And that causes all sorts of problems. You got to drink more water. You got to stay hydrated. Uh, massage might work for her to break up some of that lactic acid buildup in the muscles, but a lot of times fibro patients are, are so inflamed that they can't get massages. And I will also want to look at her digestive system, Derek, because in all the years I've been in practice, I've seen a ton of folks with these problems. They're not digesting their food properly. So if she has You're acid, exactly right. There you go. See, I, I, I know your wife, Derek. See? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, and, that, and that's going to be a key. Because you, she's so, absorbed. what what do you recommend for helping the digestive system? That superfood, uh, super greens, an essential source. Absolutely, uh, Dr. Joe's digestive enzymes. Those are on the website as well. But for her, if she has acid reflux or heartburn, which she probably does, um, nope, she doesn't have any acid reflux or heartburn. Okay, that's surprising. Okay, but with digestive system, uh, she could have a spasm somewhere along her digestive system. And okay. so, what we do is we test for that, and it's it's very gentle massage. But a trick she can do at home, we're talking home remedies today, is get a hot, maybe a towel, like a hand towel, wet it, and if you have a microwave, which you shouldn't, put it in a microwave and heat it up and lay it across her abdomen. And that's going to stimulate what's called the parasympathetic nervous system. That's the part of the nervous system that slows her down. And that's going to help digestion, and it's going to help calm her down, get those spasms out of her body as well. Okay. There's lots of things to try there, Derek. Let me know how it works. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Joe. Appreciate the call. Folks, if you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. Going to have to go to a break real soon. Um, and digestion is a big issue. And I've always said if I could never adjust another patient as a chiropractor, we can build a very successful practice on nothing but digestive problems. Everybody's got it. Nobody talks about it. And so gas, bloating, diarrhea, acid reflux, constipation, these are all warning signs that something's wrong. And I don't want you to ignore them. I want you to say what's wrong and what can I do to fix them. And that's what we do in our offices. Folks, got to go to break. If you have a question, 844-44-Dr. Joe, my website, drjoesposito.com. Just Google Dr. Joe. You can get our supplements there, listen to podcasts, send me questions, read articles, order our books, uh, book appointments. We have offices in the Atlanta area, uh, Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. I know this show is heard all over the world. You want to come see us? Come see us. We have folks from all, uh, all over the world come see us on a regular basis. Hey, got to go to break. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you could spend a little time with us today, just having some fun here in the studio. (laughs) That's I'm waving to my best friend out there, Jennifer. There you go. So, (laughs) Sorry, folks, glad you could be here. And uh, we're we're talking today about, (laughs) oh, it's you know, we got to put the cameras in here, Ahmad. The cameras got to get here in the studio because it's it's just way too much fun. If they only knew. If they only knew what we're doing here. I'm going to have to shave then, won't I? And look nice and everything. I don't want uh, So, uh, I guess so. i got to get a look now. i got to have to get a kind of look, you know. What, what do you think? Like t- black T-shirts or? Uh, yeah, we'll have to think of some wardrobe options. Yeah, I need wardrobe options, yeah. As, as my producer, I need you to be my fashion consultant as well, okay? So. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. We're talking today about uh, home remedies, things that you can do to help get yourself healthy. And if you're on hold, keep holding, folks. If you have a question, the number's 844 844- Four for Dr. Joe, and I want to talk about headaches real quick, and then we're going to go to Peter in just a second here. Uh, headaches. What can cause headaches? Well, I'll tell you what causes my headaches. Uh, caffeine. I can't do any caffeine. If I do chocolate, coffee, tea, bam, man, I get a headache real bad. Now, I have an old neck injury. I was hit by a car when I was about 10 years old. I was actually in Germany. First vacation I ever took, I went to go visit my relatives in Germany. And I uh, got hit by a car. They thought I was dead. I landed on, landed on my head on the top of the car and rolled off. I don't remember any of it. And I uh, thought I was dead. They left me there for dead. And uh, this is way before cell phones. And uh, so the guy had to wait for somebody to drive by in between these little towns. And they had to go into town and get the ambulance, come back. And when they put me in the ambulance, I moved. Obviously not dead. Uh, but really bad neck injury. And that's really glad I'm a chiropractor because I have access to chiropractic care now 24 hours a day from all my associates. And uh, it's an issue. And without chiropractic care, I don't know what I'd be doing. I mean, the headaches were just blinding. And, and, and sometimes I still get them. So headaches can be caused by pinched nerves, caffeine, poor posture, uh, trigger points like fibromyalgia. We were talking about somebody earlier. If the muscle spasms, uh, disc injuries, disc degeneration, arthritis. So a couple of tricks I want you to consider doing. Number one, of course, you've got to get your neck checked, folks. If you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, chances are it's a pinched nerve. 
and you just got to get that fixed. And that's not uh, hard in most cases. And most people are just amazed when they get under chiropractic care. They're like, that, that's it? That's all it takes? Yeah, that's all it takes. Now, it takes several visits usually. But they're like, really? I suffered for two years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? Yeah. Needlessly. You suffered needlessly. So always check pinch nerves first when it comes to pain. And that's why so many doctors, uh, medical doctors, orthopedists, neurologists, uh, psychiatrists, send us their patients and say, Joe, see if you can get the nervous system working and maybe that'll solve the problem. If it doesn't solve the problem, then we can go a little deeper, maybe injections, we can do you know, drugs, we can do surgeries. But a lot of docs send, them, send us their patients because they want to get it checked first to see if there's a way to get around this before going to extreme. And insurance companies, by the way, are loving this too because they realize that if they can not do a surgery, it's going to save a ton of money. Now, a lot of people need surgery. I'm not saying you're not going to need surgery, but most cases we can fix it without the surgery, which is kind of nice. If it doesn't work, guess what? We could always send you to surgery. But always check the pinched nerves. That's the first thing. Another little trick you can do if you're having a headache is soak your feet in hot water and at the same time put an ice pack on your neck. Because what that does, it draws the blood away from your head and down into your feet, and then the ice pack even drives it away even further. So it helps bring down inflammation, which is really important when it comes to problems like this. Dehydration can cause headaches. Major, major cause of headaches is dehydration. Most people just don't drink enough water. And soda doesn't count, and coffee doesn't count, and tea doesn't count, because those are diuretics. You want to put water in, not flush water out. And also artificial sweetener. Number one side effect of artificial sweetener, uh, aspartame specifically, is headaches. And I've had countless patients over the years come into us, and I get them off their diet sodas, and they just feel like a gazillion duck, bucks. Not a gazillion ducks, a gazillion bucks. So you really want to uh, cut out those artificial sweeteners. Of the seven deadly sins, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, the worst one is artificial sweetener. So let's start there. People, I don't know where to start, Dr. Joe. Start with the artificial sweetener. Take Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Everyone should be taking those anyway, so you should take those. Uh, there's only one uh, issue if, if you're on uh, blood thinners, but call me if you have questions about your blood thinners, and we'll talk about that. Uh, but Super Green Essential Source, the minimum amount of nutrients every single day. Uh, and uh, we got another uh, – well, we got, let's go to Peter here. I've had him hanging for a while. Peter, how can we make your day better? Hey, hey, Dr. Joe. Trying to find out uh, – this is Peter out of Atlanta. Uh -huh. Trying to find out what home remedy do you have for being a vegan uh, for ED? Erectile dysfunction. Absolutely. Right. Extremely common. Actually, I'm just trying to – Go ahead. I'm, I'm just trying to actually – Everything is in place. Erection, erection is everything is in place. I'm just trying to last long for days. I understand. So what we need to lo look at is several things. Number one, you got to check the nerve supply in the low back. The nerve supply in the low back controls the colon, the sex organs, and the bladder. So if there's any malfunction in the colon, sex organs, and bladder, men or women, for any reason, we want to check the nerve supply in the low back because that's always a player. If there's a pinched nerve there, it's always going to affect that, that area. Uh, second thing is you're already a vegan. If you weren't, I tell you to cut out the animal products because the animal products have uh, cholesterol and it can clog up the blood vessels into the reproductive organs for men and women. But both men and women have to have good circulation. Uh, so that's important, but you're already there, so that's good. Uh, we have something called Dr. Joe's Nitric Oxide Support, and it's a supplement. We make it with citrulline, which is a vegan source. Uh, watermelon rinds is one of the sources of citrulline. And citrulline converts into nitric oxide. And nitric oxide opens up your blood vessels. So it's great for the sex organs. It's great for brain issues. If you have headaches, if you have memory loss, if you're trying to concentrate better, the nitric oxide support is really, really powerful when it comes to that. Uh, those things should help solve the problem. If it doesn't, then I would consider an adrenal supplement to increase your testosterone levels. Okay. Okay. And I wanted to find out, uh, I guess, do you have, a, 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 I guess, a clinic in Atlanta to try to check out the nerve low back? Oh, yeah, yeah. We have offices the in the Atlanta area. We have Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Okay. Yeah, so if you, want, if you just call the number you called, 844 Joe, and I'm not on the air, we can set you up an appointment. Okay, sounds Thanks, great. Peter. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. And by the way, folks, uh, we accept people with all insurances, no insurances, car accidents, sports injuries. Uh, we'd love to be your doctors. So if you want to make an appointment, 844 Joe, my website to order supplements, send me questions, listen to podcasts, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. The number, if you have questions here at the studio, 844 Dr. Joe. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, thanks for being here. I am Dr. Joe Esposito, and I am talking about 
Home remedies, things that you can do at home to help get you well, keep you well, save a ton of money, and try to keep you out of the doctor's office. I know I shouldn't be doing this show, right? I'm going to put myself out of business here. That's not a good idea, but that's okay. I've always said there's plenty of patients out there. We're not going to run out of patients as long as you keep giving quality care like we do. Uh, my doctors are I, – I, I love my doctors. My doctors are all handpicked by me, trained by me, and are my personal doctors. And I always say if I don't trust them taking care of me, I don't t- trust them taking care of you. So that's the nice part is my, I, I, my doctors are great. So uh, come on in and say hi. We'd love to meet you, and we'd love to be your doctors. So if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, let us know. And we can do phone consultations as well. If you, I know the show goes all over the world, so we can do the show. We do phone consultations all the time with patients. Uh, but the minimum, if you want to make a move, the first thing you need to do is at least get on Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. That's the minimum. If you're tired a lot, if you're fatigued, under stress, then Dr. Joe's uh, Adrenal Support steps in for that. Digestive issues, uh, Dr. Joe's digestive enzymes are really good for that. Probiotics, a lot of people are exposing themselves to antibiotics. And you're thinking, but I don't take antibiotics, Dr. Joe. Every time you eat commercial meats, dairy products, a lot of even food is sprayed with chemicals that act like antibiotics, like glyphosate, which is a weed killer. It's an antibiotic. It kills off bacteria, so I guess we call it an antibiotic. Uh, And you got to rebuild that. And unless you have a really good diet, you got to feed the body good bacteria. Those are called probiotics. Probiotics are good bacteria. Prebiotics feed the bacteria that's already in your colon. They're non-digestible carbohydrates that you can't digest, but the bacteria can. And so you got to fertilize, if you will, fertilize those bacteria to make them grow and make more bacteria babies. And prebiotics are great. What are good sources of prebiotics? Well, guess what? Fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. The same thing I've been telling you about forever. It's really simple. And plus, we had the prebiotics and the probiotics to Dr. Joe Supergreens as well, so we can get that bacteria growing. The gut is the key to health. I was at a, a somewhere the other day, and someone stopped me. I said, Dr. Joe, I love the way you talk about the gut being the key to health. And I said, yeah, you have to have a normally functioning nervous system. As a chiropractor, we check, we can check and adjust any bone in the body, all 206. We want to check the digestive system, make sure if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, if you have symptoms of bacteria dying off, yeast infections, we got to get that digestive system working. And then we want to make sure you're on good food. So if you have a normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, and good uh, uh, supplements and good nutrition, you have a health care plan. You have your home remedies. So that's one of the tricks there I want you to get in your mind that we want to get to the cause of your problem not just treat the symptoms. So let's talk about pain. Being I'm board certified in pain management, let's talk about uh, joint pain. Got aching joints, muscles that's usually caused by inflammation. It could be overexertion, could be injury, could be arthritis. Now, every day we see patients with arthritis. And every day we ask the same question, every day we get the same answer. The doctors told me I have degenerative joint disease, arthritis, disc disease. Okay. Did they ever tell you why? And 100% of the time, the patient says, no, they just told me I have it. If bones are out of alignment, any bones, could be your foot bone, could be your uh, hand bone, could be your wrist bone, could be your spine. If bones are out of alignment, they rub up against the bones above and below it, and they wear out. And that's called osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease, spondylosis, degenerative disc disease, all the same thing. Bones are out of alignment, rubbing up against each other, joints wear out. What would be the most logical thing to do? To fix it, we'll put the bones back in place. Exactly. And we can adjust feet. We adjust feet every day, shoulders, wrists, elbows, hands, skulls. We can even adjust skull bones. A lot of times people have head injury. The skull bones shift. We have to put them back in place again. So we want to make sure if you're having pain, is it a pinched nerve? And if it is, well, that's something we would do in our offices. You can do things to help bring down the inflammation. And... What do we talk about every day? Cut out the big seven, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. Those are, that's what, those are inflammatory foods. And then you can take certain supplements that can help with inflammation. And one of the supplements that's really popular is turmeric. Turmeric uh, contains something called curcumin. Again, a lot of big words here. And it's used a lot in Indian food. But you can add it to your food. You can take it in a supplement if you want to. And it's a wonderful anti-inflammatory. And there's been research going on about dealing with cancer patients in turmeric and heart disease patients with turmeric. And it's a wonderful anti-inflammatory across the board. So you can use, uh, try to get the, the, the good stuff, like a supplement version. If you get it from the grocery store, it could be old. It may not be a, a quality one. But even if you just have it as, as part of your diet and you put it in your food, that's fine. 
Uh, but turmeric is pretty awesome, and that's wonderful anti-inflammatory. And once again, I'm going to say it, water. Water is an amazing anti-inflammatory because it helps the bowels move, it helps the bladder move, and the, and the kidneys flushes the waste product out of the system. So you can have inflammation and joint pain from a physical problem, bones out of place, uh, pinched nerves, swollen discs, muscle spasms, from a chemical problem, acid foods, bad diet, and you can take anti natural anti-inflammatories to help bring the inflammation down. Now, sometimes I've had patients already where we try to adjust them and they're just like hitting rocks and may, they may have to take an anti-inflammatory, uh, like acetaminophen. Uh, actually, ibuprofen is an anti-inflammatory. Acetaminophen blocks pain. But if they take some ibuprofen, which again, I, I don't, I'm not against drugs, that can help break the cycle. And then we're able to get in there and adjust them. So that's kind of cool too. I used to date a girl years ago and she had horrible scoliosis. And one day I adjusted her and it moved great. And I was like, wow, what, did, what, what was different? Well, she had some menstrual cramps. She took some medication for the menstrual cramps and relaxed the bones and muscles, en mu muscles enough for me to move it. And then after that, everything moved fine. So you got to get to the cause of your problems. And sometimes those causes are really deeply embedded. Let's talk about nasal congestion as we're talking about home remedies. If you have nasal congestion, well, it goes back to a lot of things we teach you. You have to give up the cause of the nasal congestion. And many times those are the big, the big two, which are what? Dairy and wheat. So I really want you to consider giving up dairy and giving up wheat. And those are the number one and two food allergens. And many times just by doing that, your allergies clear up, your chronic cold goes away, your chronic runny nose goes away, your allergies, your skin irritation, your itching, and you just think I'm the smartest dude you ever met. Well, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But I'm very practical. I want to give you practical things that you can do to get well and stay well. And I always recommend giving up the dairy and the wheat. And when you do, you usually feel great. And then this is what's going to happen. You're going to cheat. And when you cheat, you're going to go back to your old ways. And when you do, you're going to have the reactions. And you're going to say, why didn't I listen to Dr. Joe? Dr. Joe was right. I know. I love that. When a woman whispers those three words in my ear, you were right. Or that makes sense. Either one. I'll take either one. Because it does. It just makes sense. If you take care of yourself, you're not going to get a sick. And stop causing a lot of the problems. That's what you're doing. You're causing a lot of the issues. So that's one issue with sinus problems. If you have bad sinus problems with pollen, you might want to try something like a neti pot. Neti pots are a little weird. They, they, you pour water up one side of your nostril. It comes out the other side. Kind of an odd feeling. But you can flush out your sinuses. And that's kind of neat, too. Oh, got to go to break. Folks, if you have a healthcare question, I'm going to open up the lines again, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website, if you want to order Dr. Joe Super Greens, Essential Source, other supplements, my books, send me questions, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. You get my podcast there as well. Uh, we have audios and videos. So we want to be your doctors. We want to help you get well and stay well. So go to the website, spend a little time, get on some good supplements, make an appointment. In the Atlanta area, we're in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Folks, got to go to break. Tell your friends about the show. 844-44-DR-JOE. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. I am so glad you're spending a little time with me today. Always good times to have you with me. And we're talking today about home remedies, things that you can do to take care of yourself, help lower your doctor bills, help lower your aggravation, your stress, hopefully keep you around a little longer, too. It's kind of a nice little treat there as well. And the nice part is that healthy people usually live longer. I gave a lecture the other day, and um, I said, you know, there's one food. That if you gave up just one food, statistically, you would increase your life expectancy by eight years. And I said, if I had a pill, and I can give you this pill, and statistically speaking, you would increase your life expectancy by eight years. Would you take the pill? No side effects. Only benefits. Of course you would. And it wouldn't matter how much I charged you for it. You would pay for it. Because I'm going to give you eight years of life, quality years of life. You're going to be very, very happy with that. I could become a gazillionaire if I had that pill. Unfortunately, I don't have that pill, but you do. And that metaphorical pill is you got to give up dairy products. Just by giving up dairy, you know, ice cream, cheese, yogurt, butter, ice, uh, um, anything made with cow's milk, goat's milk, uh, I'd recommend you do that. And statistically, eight years more to your life. And you know what? There's so many substitutes. There's coconut milk, almond milk, uh, hemp milk, cashew milk. There's butters that, that you can use, butter substitutes. There's cream substitutes. There's whipped cream uh, substitutes now. Years ago, when I gave up my animal products, or 32 years ago, we didn't have all those cool things. Now we do. And so you're not going to miss it. I promise you one iota. The easiest thing, I think, to give up is the dairy products. 
of the alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. Uh, I find that people are willing to give up the dairy, and they, they don't have the biggest problem with that because uh, they feel great instantly. I'll just go back to the callers. i got a lot more notes to cover, but we'll take the callers. Martha, how can we make your day better? Hi, Dr. Joe. I have been listening to your show for a while and reading about some of your products, and I'm uh-huh. interested in, I think, taking a couple of them, but I don't know exactly how to take them. The Super Greens and the Essential Source in particular. Okay, Super Greens Essential Source are powders. Um, and what I do is I take a scoop of each, and I put it in a jar – because you got to shake it up. It doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it uh, that, 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 that allow it to mix easily. It mixes easily, but it, it, you, I, I take it in a jar and shake it up and drink it. Now, if that's okay, great. Most people are happy with that. If you want to take it another level, you can take a half a frozen banana or some frozen berries, throw it in a food processor with some coconut milk or almond milk or cashew milk and whip it up. Very easy to take. Some people just take it with water, but I personally like it with milk, so that's how I take it. So. Perfect. I have a smoothie every morning, so that would work. Oh. Oh, also, how about the adrenal support? How uh, is it taken? Is capsules? It capsules? They're capsules. Uh, boy, are they, mm, boy, are they popular. All the supplements are popular. That's the whole thing about it. They're all great, but the adrenal glands are just capsules. Just swallow them down. It's real easy. Perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Martha. I appreciate it. And folks, if you're like Martha and you want to order the supplements, you can go to my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe, number one Dr. Joe in the world. Uh, also on Amazon, you go to Amazon, just look me up. We, all the supplements are there, too. My books are there as well. Uh, if you have questions, you can always call the office, 844-44-DR-JOE. That's the number to the office when I'm not on the air. And we're more than happy to help you in any way we can because, once again, we want to help get you well and keep you well. Take another caller before I go back to my notes. Maria, how can we make your day better? Hi, Dr. Joe. Um, I've been dealing with lower back pain for several years. And I had gone to see a doctor more than 10 years ago, and they told me I had lower degenerative disc issues. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it's got to be 27 years ago, I had gone to see a chiropractor, and I think he messed up my back so badly that it, for a day I couldn't walk. Mm-hmm. So I said, I said, I'm not going to see another chiropractor. Sure, I understand. But recently, I have been going to massage for, to help me uh, de-stress. But when I go to get off the table, my back seizes. Right. And it takes me a few minutes to be able to get up and walk again. And I'm not sure what the heck is going on. I do. Yeah, if you have degenerative okay. disc disease, the reason you have it, it's not a disease, it's a condition. They shouldn't call it a disease. The bones in your low back are out of alignment, rubbing up against each other, and the disc wears out. And as the disc wears out, the bones get closer and closer together, and they pinch those low back nerves. And that's where you get your back pain, leg pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain. But as we said earlier, it's the same nerve that controls your colon, sex organs, and bladder. So my concern now is gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, urinary problems, period problems, sexual problems, everything from the waist down is affected by that nerve. So if you don't get those bones realigned, it's just going to continue to get worse and worse. And once the one disc wears out, the one above it and below it will start to wear out and then above and below that. And it just continues on. And eventually you're going to be a really unhappy person. Um, so I'm sorry you had a bad experience with the chiropractor, but sometimes when you try to move things around that are really worn out, sometimes it hurts. Very seldom. Now, in our offices, okay. we have tables uh, they call flexion distraction tables where we gently just stretch out your back very gently to try to open up those disc spaces and pump fluid into the disc to rehydrate that disc. Okay. So that's what I would strongly advise you do. Um, yeah. And you know, I'm sure you've gone out on dates that weren't good. You kept dating. You know, I mean, just because you had one bad experience, <laughs> you don't give up. You know, so <laughs> we've all been there. Um, okay. Thank and, you. Okay. So if you want to come see us or get to somebody, I think that would be very, very uh, prudent advice there. All right. I thank you. Thanks, Bye-bye. Maria. Bye-bye. Yeah, it is true, folks. I, I joke about that. But it, it's true. We've all had bad dates. We've all had bad food. We don't stop eating. So if you had one bad experience, and I always tell my patients in the first visit, Say, listen, if we ever do something you're not happy with, please tell us. It's never going to be malicious. might be stupid, but it's never malicious. And sometimes I want to know what the patient's expectations are. And if they're not realistic expectations, well, doc, I want to come in one time and fix a problem that I've had for 30 years. I tell them right out, it, it, this isn't going to work then. That's not a realistic expectation. This is what would be realistic as far as what you can expect. And every patient says, great, that's what I want, doc. I want to get well. And so when you have arthritis, it's always, always, always osteoarthritis, always due to bones out of place, pinching nerves. Now, I had somebody call me the other day, and they wanted to make an appointment. And I said they had arthritis, and I explained the bones out of place, blah, blah, blah. And they said, well, it's in my hands. 
Well, the problem is that usually when you have arthritis in your hands, unless you actually jammed your hands, is that's a secondary site for osteoarthritis. So what does that mean? You have a bone out of place somewhere in your body, your spine, your foot, your knee, your ankle, and it creates inflammation. And the body sends out these white blood cells to break up the inflammation. And the white blood cells are not site-specific. What that means is they don't go to just one site. They go all over the body. And they start attacking the joints. And the place where you have the most freely movable, weakest joints in your body are your fingers. So a lot of times if you have osteoarthritis in your fingers, it's not the primary site. It's a secondary site. It's a, that's a secondary site. There's a primary site somewhere else in the body. And so then my team of doctors, we go on a little investigation and we try to find out where the primary site is and start working on that area to stop the production of these white blood cells. And then we also can adjust the fingers as well. We can adjust any bones in the body and hopefully that's going to slow down, if not stop the problem, in some cases reverse it somewhat, which is pretty cool. If you have arthritis and you do nothing, the only promise I can make you, I can't promise you we can help you, but the only promise I can make you is that it's going to get worse. And acid foods like alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener are going to cause more inflammation and more pain. Folks, if you have a healthcare question, we've got one more segment to go, 844-44-DR-JOE. If you can't get through, uh, if you want to call us at the office, 844-44-DR-JOE is the number that rings through our offices when we're not here. If you want to make appointments, if you want to talk about supplements, questions, 844-44-DR-JOE. The website you can order from, of course, that's the easiest way, or on Amazon. We're more than happy to you know, go to Amazon if you want, 844-44-DR-JOE. Hey, folks, don't go anywhere. Uh, uh, the website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here. So glad you're with me today. I really appreciate you spending a little time with me today. We're talking today about home remedies. Things that you need to do, that you can do when you have a specific problem. Uh, but I want to preface that by saying you can avoid a lot of problems if you take care of yourself. You can avoid a lot of health care problems if you have a normally functioning nervous system, a normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition. Those are the three things that you have to have to have to have in order to obtain and maintain good health. Nervous system controls everything. So if you have pinched nerves, you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, headaches, numbness, tingling, these are signs that you probably have a pinched nerve. There's other things that can cause it, but usually it's a pinched nerve. And why not just unpinch the nerves? <gasps> pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty inexpensive. I know, it's pretty cool, and patients love it, and relatively safe too. You have to have a normally functioning digestive system. If you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, you're not absorbing your food properly. And I would say about 80% of the patients that my doctors check in our offices, we have some type of digestive issue involved. And many times if the stomach is pushed up against the diaphragm, we need to gently pull or massage the stomach down away from the diaphragm. It doesn't hurt. And boy, I tell you what, man, people want to name their kids after you when you do that for them because I had that problem for years. And I would have rapid heart rate. I had high blood pressure. And I was pretty healthy. And I was a kid. And I'm like, where are these coming from? Turns out the same nerve that controls the stomach helps control the heart called the vagus nerve. And if the vagus nerve is being irritated, it can cause irregular heartbeats. And my heart would beat crazy and then stop and then skip beats. And it was just nuts. And I always thought everybody was like that because I didn't know what to compare it to as a kid. Once I got my stomach fixed, tell you what, man, life changes. And it also helps, helps digest food better. It helps with allergies. So many allergies are because you're not digesting your proteins properly because your stomach isn't working. So we have to physically fix a lot of problems in the body. And then, of course, good diet. Good diet is so easy and so inexpensive. And at least take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. And you know another thing you can do? Learn to cook at home. Start preparing your own meals. Like I have salad just about every day for lunch, and that's real easy. I buy a you know, big clamshell of organic salad mix, and I just throw it in a bowl, and I'll add some apple cider vinegar dressing, um, add some nutritional yeast, tomatoes, carrots, cucumbers, avocados. It's amazing how quick and easy and cheap and how much time you'll save by bringing your own lunch. It's really pretty cool. If you have kids, get into the kitchen. Teach them how to cook. My first book, uh, Eating Right for the Health of It, is a great guide on how to prepare food, uh, what to eat. Breakfast, lunches, dinner, snacks, tons of recipes in there. Get one of my books, sit down with your kids and do it. Uh, also, the TV show, MasterChef, CampMasterChef.com. If you go to CampMasterChef.com, they have uh, camps in Georgia and Connecticut. Send your kids to cooking camp. Great way to get them involved in food and so that they can learn how to take care of themselves. 
Let's go back to the callers, then I will go from there. Andrea, how can we make your day better? Hey, Dr. Joe. Hi. I have a question. Um, I hear you advocating giving up dairy products, and I would like to know if you have a list of acceptable substitutes for yogurt and butter, sure. things like that. Just, um, yeah. Uh, because I, I don't use a lot of dairy products, but the ones I do use, I, I really like them. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I like them, too. It's been 32 years, but I like them, too. Uh, there's a ton of uh, plant-based uh, butters. I won't use any brand names, of course, but if you go to any... Even the grocery stores carry them now. So back years ago, you had to go to a health food store. But any health food store, grocery store have them. So I don't want to get brand names, you know, unless they want to, you know, advertise. If they want to advertise, we can do that. Um, as far as yogurt right. goes, you can do uh, coconut yogurt, almond yogurt, and those are in the health food section area of the grocery stores as well. Very, very common. Very delicious, by the way, too. I think I, I like them better if I can remember what yogurt tasted like. I like them better than even dairy yogurt. So coconut uh, yogurt oh. is great and almond yogurt. Oh, okay. I didn't even know they made such a thing. So. That's why we do our show every day. I want you to walk away with yeah, some new information. Yeah. Right, Andrea? Yeah, that is cool. Okay. Try it. All You'll right. love it. Thanks, Andrea. Appreciate the call. Well, Oops, I cut her off there. Sorry, sorry, Andrea. I didn't know I was cutting you off. So, so we're talking today. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. We're talking today about uh, home remedies, things that you can do to take care of yourself. Sore throats. As a professional speaker... I have to be careful. In fact, I did a lecture this week, and the microphone was terrible, and I had little tiny speakers in this big room. And what I tried to do is I tried to overcompensate with my powerful voice, and it was a little strain on my voice. So a little trick you can do is you can make uh, some tea to help it, but not just regular tea. What you do is you want to get sage, dried sage, S-A-G-E. It's an herb. And take about a cup of boiling water, maybe two teaspoons of dried sage. Let it steep for about 10 minutes. And then add about three quarters of a teaspoon of sea salt and gargle with it. The reason that works is sage and salt tighten up the inflamed membranes and they give temporary uh, relief of the pain. Sage is also antimicrobial, which can help fight viruses. Another thing, too, if you have a viral infection, you want to, I, I like the idea somebody talked about earlier, I've talked about it before, is uh, oil pulling. Taking some coconut oil, extra virgin organic coconut oil, and swish it around in your mouth and in between your teeth for about maybe five to ten minutes. Now, don't spit it into your sink because coconut oil hardens when it's cold. Spit it outside, spit it into a trash can, and that works wonders too because coconut oil is antimicrobial, antiviral, antifungal. And so if you have infections or if you're building up junk inside your teeth, it's pretty cool. I know I have a root canal. Wish I never had one. That was silly of me. Um, and because the post is up into my skull, every now and then it acts up, and I just do some oil pulling. I do it for maybe five minutes or so. I, 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 they say you can do up to 20. I don't know how anybody can do it without gagging. But um, So I'll do some oil pulling, and it's amazing how that helps the pain. It's just crazy how well that works. So sore throat, that's another one. Uh, you can, If you want to add a little a hot pepper to that, some cayenne pepper, the cayenne pepper can increase circulation to the area. And that'll bring more blood into the area and wipe out, help wipe out the infection. So, folks, if you missed this show, if you're just tuning in, you missed an amazing show. But the good news is I'm going to take this and put it on my website and my podcast, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Podcasts are also available on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. And then you could listen. I want you to become a fan. I want you to just listen and over and over because every time we do a show, you're going to learn something new. And I have friends of mine that I've known for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and they say, every, I thought I knew everything about you. And every time we hear a show, we learn new information. So the shows are there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The website is there for you if you want to order Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, Enzyme Support, Nitric Oxide. It's all there. And by the way, sign up for my newsletter. It's on the website. It's no charge. We're never going to give out your, your email address, but we send out lots of good information. Like I said, last week we sent out tickets to a free lecture at a big expo I was speaking at. You were, you were on my newsletter, you got free tickets. So, folks, the website is there 24 hours a day, drjoesposito.com. If you want to make an appointment in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. If you want to order supplements, also available on Amazon if that makes you happy. And thank you so much for listening. I appreciate that because we want to get you well and keep you well. Tell your friends about this show. We'll catch you next time.